everyone and welcome to my place. It has been a pleasure bringing the great botanical journey to your place. Going behind the scenes, going and visiting the gardeners, the growers and seeing how things are grown has opened my eyes and given me a greater appreciation of how beautiful our blooms are and how much work is involved in growing them. Now, this is the end of our second journey. So the first journey we went to Ruby Orchids and went behind the scenes to see how the orchids are grown. Then we went to Mangrove Creek. This last adventure has been to Mangrove Creek Farm and we met up with Vania and Daryl and they showed us and shared all their information about the early spring flowering blooms. We saw the hellebore. We saw the viburnum, uh, we've seen the giant proteas, and now what I want to do is, as we conclude this spring journey, there might be some more, I don't know yet, we'll see. I want to share a design that I have admired from a floral designer of the past. Her name was Constance Spry. She is and was an amazing woman and le leading an interesting life. She was very good friends with Oscar Wilde and I think to myself, now that would be a dinner party I'd like to be a mouse quietly sitting at the end of the room observing. However, that's enough of that. Let's just get on with this. But can you imagine that? Stop it, stop it, stop it. But anyway, this design is a design that is inspired from all of the designs that she put together. Now she was also the one that said the difference between a weed and a flower is just an opinion. Some of her designs it was almost as if she just walked the hedro, the hedros or the gardens and gathered a bit of this and gathered a bit of that and then just put it all together and they were gorgeous and I liken them a little bit like the Flemish fruit and flower or the Flemish painters and what they did. They gathered this and they gathered that as it was discovered it went into a painting. Well this is a design that sort of like and a little bit of that and a little bit of that and it's just gorgeous. Okay so to begin this is one of the containers I did ages ago it's just been decoupage I've embellished it further you know I just kept throwing stuff at it and I've got the gorgeous little porcelain flowers on the outside I love the colors I love the design in in the container for all of the reasons that it sort of kind of just reminds me a little bit of spring a little bit of summer and I just want to share how easy it is to create something gorgeous that spring, a little bit of winter, a little bit of something to come. A surprise is what this is. So I've got into here I've got a couple of pieces of blossom. I'm now going to put in a couple of pieces of blue of twisted or spiral Oops, that's a bit too high. Spiral, because this is my my back over here. Spiral eucalyptus. I could have gone and got some other stuff, but it was just a little bit too wet. I've got some beautiful gum nuts here. So I'm just going to put one in and over to there. I'm just going to let that just droop to whichever way it wants. And what I can do is I can change this up or have a fiddle once I've got everything in to place. So I can go, I can do whatever I want because there's no hard and fast rules with this. Right, when we're at Mangrove Creek, I got some of this beautiful viburnum. So I'm just going to put that into there like that. I've got some tea tree here, it's a couple of bits of that. So I'm going to put some of that to the back like so. And then I'm going to bring whoop, a couple of bits into the sides like that or the front. And I'll just fix that up in a minute. I just want that to just, I want this to look very loose and informal. Now I've got a couple of bits of lambs here. I'm going to put a little bit of that into there. You'll notice I'm working back to front. So if I make a mistake, don't be too rough on me or critical because I will fix it in due course. And that can go into there like so. Now I've got two 
piece, two of these. This is another Protea, and I'm not sure what its name is. Can I just call it Neighbor because that's where I got it. This is gorgeous, and I just love the coloring, the colorways, and I love that these little brats are slowly opening up, and their little feathery tips are just on the end, and there's this promise of something wonderful in this in the center there to come, which I think is also equally nice. So I'm just going to bring that down and into there, and I've got two of those, so I'm going to bring that down and into there. When I asked my neighbor for these, she took the leaves off. I was a little bit upset, but never mind, that's fine. Now, I want to introduce this here. This is called Coconut Ice. It's got another name. It's beautiful. It's a new, well, it's not actually new to the, our gardens or the botanical world. It's been around for a long, long time. It's got another name, but I'll put the link on so that you can just see what it is for yourself. This is a beautiful new back in vogue foliage and I absolutely love it. So what I want to do with that is I just want to put that down and into there. And this is what Constance Bro did. She used seed heads and she used pods and she used things that you wouldn't that weren't actually put together. And I'm going way back probably 70 years. So I think it's great that we should be just doing these things. So I'm just looking at that in the wrong place and I'm just going to put that to there now. The next thing I want to do is to bring in this Cymbidium orchid. This is what I saw, got when we were out at Ruby Orchids weeks ago and it is still flowering. Look at that. And the reason I wanted to use the green is because I feel that this design needs another green. The green is in the petals of the Cymbidium. And I love this red bit, this lovely red bits that connect in with the red bits in my vase or on my vase. So I'm just going to take that up and over and into there. I've got one last piece of, look at that, isn't that lovely? Oh, it's so, so, so gorgeous. And it is called Paris, but some people call it Lily of the Valley. Kind of looks like a Lily of the Valley. I'm just going to bring that into there like so. Now, it looks like there's a lot in there, but actually, it's all got its own space. Now, I wanted to also bring in this, and I need to see where I'm going now. I've got one of these big, ginormous... King Proteus. This one's actually called Asiatic White. And I, I know you shouldn't be doing this, but this is how I just make sure that I'm right. Just pop it in with my hand like so. And there we have a lovely, it's spring, it's everything design. And I am going to give it a, just a little wee tweak around because it's just a little bit not to my liking yet. But isn't that just lovely how you can put all of these textures together? And this is my conclusion to our second leg in our journey of the Great Botanical Adventure. I really enjoyed the series. If you've got any questions, direct message me to my Astor's Place Instagram, Instagram and I will, if I can, I'll see if I can go un deeper into investigation for you. Thank you to Mangrove Creek farm for allowing us behind the scenes and also to New Zealand Bloom because guess what, they managed to get the flowers that I've been playing with to a market near you, I love that beautiful arrangement beautiful flowers, gorgeous time of the year is the spring, it is the beginning for me, I'll see you again soon, bye for now